Hi everyone, welcome to the IB Professional School and welcome to our Power BI series. So today we are going to learn about a very important useful measure that we can use on our Power BI reports that is dynamic ranking using parameters in Power BI. So let's get started with the video and see how we can achieve the results. So here I have the global superstore data. So I have the date table. Then I have the orders table, so category, city, country, cells, all these are there. And we then have people, returns, others, okay. So uh, let me first calculate, start with the calculation of a very simple uh, using a tax measure. So we would need uh, something called total cells for our dynamic ranking to work. So this will be basically simple use of some function on cells and hit enter so we have the total cells okay so you can sell see the total cells is already calculated here now suppose let's go to home tab and bring in a matrix okay and let's bring in subcategory so we have subcategory here and also let's bring in the cells meet the total cells so you would be able to see uh, basically here the total cells have been done like the highest being uh, from the phone subcategory and then uh, the second highest being in copiers then chairs bookcases and so on okay so if i want to particular assign a rank to this particular matrix uh, based on the total cells so how can we achieve that so let's use a dax measure ranking so I would be using the iterator function rank x, okay. Then I use all and then we have the subcategory from the orders table. Then we have the total, uh, we are calculating it on the basis of total cells. And then we want to calculate it in a descending order, rank it in a descending order. Let's press descending and hit enter, okay. So we have created a measure called ranking. So let's bring in ranking into this measure. Let's bring in ranking here. So you can see the ranking has been done on the basis of the highest number of cells. Second highest being copiers, third highest being chairs, fourth highest being bookcase. Now if we look at this particular matrix, uh, this is more of a static matrix. We cannot make any changes. Uh, if we want to show the top five or top three, out of four we cannot we are not able to show in this matrix so if you want to make it a dynamic ranking let's see how we can do that so we can go to the ranking that same measure and uh, probably we can uh, use a variable let's press shift enter and uh, let's use a variable and name is that as rank visible equals to rank x the entire tax measure let's put shift enter and it should return me basically like if i use if if rank visible uh, say supposedly less than equals to three that is it would show the top three for total cells okay now if we use this we can see it's showing only the top three okay but this is again static one right so we want to achieve something or create something on a report where the end user can basically use like as per their requirement like if they want to see top three top four top five top six based on the number of subcategories which are there on the based on cells so they should be able to do that so let's see how we can make this now dynamic okay so let's go to home tab and modeling and let's create a parameter okay a numeric range so let's name it as ranking option and the minimum i would select as one and maximum is 20 increment of one so let's create okay so we have the ranking option here 
Now let's go to ranking. So if we want to make it dynamic, uh, we would simply need to just instead of rank visible equals to three, we can select ranking option value, then same total cells and the ranking measure is updated. Now let's remove total cells. So total cells is there. Let's remove total cells and let's bring in ranking. Okay. We have brought in ranking and now let's bring in this parameter and use it as a filter okay let's bring in filter and we have the ranking here okay now right now i don't have anything in this rank column so it's showing me a blank now let's bring it ranking option two so i want to see the top two right or two highest two subcategories which are giving me the highest cells okay so i can see here which is phones and copiers if i bring it to rank four then it would show me the four subcategories which are giving the cells based on the ranking and then accordingly five so the ranking option is now dynamic here now this is basically showing me top bottom like that so now if we want to put this top and bottom in the visual itself so how do, can we achieve that so let's go ahead in home tab go to the data view and let's go to table tools go to new table and let's create a table let's name it as top bottom and second bracket so i want to have one value as top another value as bottom right so we create that and we have a new table top and bottom with the values okay let's go back to our report view okay now let's bring in this and let's select the top bottom value so now we have two options that is top and bottom so right now if we click on this there are no interactions or no changes on the visual so let's incorporate this top bottom value i will also try to sort it out that is top and bottom now let's see how we can make the changes in the ranking measure so that top and bottom is also incorporated in the visual so now that we have this one basically let's name it as top subcategory and we would need a similar formula so we are just going to copy paste this and instead of top i want it as bottom okay and here in this case since it's bottom so we would be selecting ascending instead of descending okay now what it would like me to return right so in that case we are basically going to use variable say ranking that should be equal to if we are going to use if function and if what is the logical test so in that case we would select selected value if the selected value top bottom value is equal to top then the result should be missing a bracket here so let's close this bracket so we should be getting it top subcategory else we are going to get bottom subcategory and it should return instead of ranking we should be returning ranking equals to ranking option and press enter so now this entire th measure is updated and now let's see how we can incorporate this so now if i select top 5 so it would give me top 5 if i select 
bottom 5 it should give me bottom 5 now if i change the rank option to 7 so when i click on top 7 it's giving me top 7 subcategories based on the cells and the ranking is done and again if i select it bottom so it's giving me the bottom subcategories based on the ranking option so this entire thing now in this report when you do it it becomes a dynamic ranking using parameters in power bi hope you have liked this video thank you